So you're thinking about moving to Southwest Florida. Maybe you live in Naples and you're considering Bonita Springs or vice versa. In this video, we're gonna cover the difference between Naples and Bonita Springs, so stick around. Hi, my name is Kristen Van Hookalum. I'm with Team 239 here in Southwest Florida, and we get calls, emails, texts from people every day just like you looking to make a move to Southwest Florida. So whether you're making a move in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text. All of the information you need is in the video description below so that we can help you too make a smooth move to Southwest Florida. If this is your first time to our channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about Southwest Florida, including community tours, and market updates, everything in between in Naples, Bonita, Estero, Fort Myers, Cape Coral, then you're gonna wanna subscribe to our channel and tap the bell for notifications so that you can be the first to know about market updates in Southwest Florida. So as I mentioned, we're gonna be talking about the differences between Naples, Florida and Bonita Springs, Florida. Now, we have to start with the fact that Naples and Bonita are actually neighbors. From center point to center point in each city, it's about 15 to 20 miles. So it's gonna take you, again, maybe 20 to 25 minutes to get from the center of Naples to the center of Bonita Springs. Now, with that comes a bunch of differences, and I'm gonna get into those now. The first key difference is that Naples is located in Collier County, and Bonita Springs is located in Lee County. That means they have a different set of taxes, a different set of school systems, even the land mass is different. Collier County, which encompasses Naples, Marco Island, Everglades City, is over 2,000 square miles, whereas Bonita Springs is in Lee County, and Lee County is just over 1,200 square miles. Now, normally when I get calls, I get people that ask me about the school systems. Yes, the school systems are different. In Lee County, which is Bonita Springs, there is school choice. In Collier County, which is Naples, you are zoned for whichever school is closest to you. Now, with that said, the Lee County school systems at the elementary school level and even the middle school level, while it is school choice, it's very unlikely that you're gonna have a child that lives in Lehigh Acres go to a school in the village of Estero just because that distance is just too far. So they do use a bit of the same system where if you live closest to the school, that is likely the school that your child is gonna go to at the elementary and middle school level. At the high school level, that changes. They have some powerhouse high schools located in Lee County. I'm gonna pull up a couple of infographics that I pulled off the Lee County School System website. Lee County is the ninth largest school district in Florida and the 32nd largest in the nation. There's over 95,000 students there and almost 6,000 teachers. There's 147 different languages spoken and kids from 141 different countries. Lee County school system is quite diverse. You can see the diversity profile there on the right. Lee County is also home to 118 different schools, including 23 charter schools, 16 special centers, 14 high schools, 16 middle schools, 45 elementary schools, and four K through eight schools. If you take a look at the profile there from the 2021 graduating class, you can see that these kids are going to four-year colleges, two-year colleges, community colleges, tech schools, and the U.S. Armed Forces. Looking down at the bottom of that infographic, you can see those advanced studies. So that International Baccalaureate program is on there, the Cambridge ACE program's on there, advanced placement, honors programs, dual enrollment, which is basically where the child goes to high school and college at the same time. So many of these kids are graduating high school with a two-year college degree. Now let's talk about Collier County. Collier County is the 115th largest school district in all of the United States. There are 62 schools and 48,000 students. You can see the diversity makeup there in the middle. There's 52% male students and 48% female students. There's over 11,000 students enrolled in career and technical education courses and a one-to-one -one ratio with computers to students. Many people in the state of Florida love the schools here because our class sizes are small. 
Each student at the kindergarten level gets a district computer that they take with them all the way through high school. So many of their assignments are held online through a program called Canvas. And then there's also another program called Focus where you can check on your child's grades all throughout the school year. Art and music programs are offered at all levels. There's 31 elementary schools, 10 middle schools, 8 high schools, and 8 charter schools in Collier County. That means there's over 3,100 teachers. In Collier County, your child can graduate with a high school diploma, honors diploma, or advanced placement, or that ACE Cambridge diploma. Many students, especially in Collier County, do graduate with scholarships for sports. For instance, Collier County is known for its champion athletics. In 2022, Barron Collier High School had the state champion wrestler in that school. And amazingly, he was the state champion this past year and his dad was the state champion back in 1987. So as I mentioned, schools are based on zones or school zones. There is gonna be a brand new high school opening up in the 2024 school year. And there are some high schools that are a little more sought after and there's some reasons behind that. For instance, Gulf Coast High School is known for their band. They have an orchestra, they have a jazz band, and they have their regular band. If you have not been to a football game in Collier County in Naples, you are missing out. Not only is the game fantastic, but the band, the performance that the high school band, the dance line, puts on during halftime is awesome. It is quite the show and it's something that you've got to see whether you're here and you have a child in school or not. Naples High School is known for their football team so if you have a child and they're a football star, Naples High School might be one of the school zones that you want to be looking at. Barron Collier High School is known for its robust wrestling program. They're currently the eighth ranked school in the entire state of Florida. They do have some competition though because Palmetto Ridge High School, located a little more out east off of Oil Well Road, does also have a really great wrestling program, so there's a little bit of rivalry there. Okay, enough about the schools, let's get into some of the communities. We're gonna talk about luxury living. Now, there are luxury communities in both areas, Bonita Springs as well as Naples, Florida, but Naples is home to Pelican Bay, which is the only beachside community with direct beach access in all of Southwest Florida. That said, Bonita Springs is home to Barefoot Beach, and Barefoot Beach is a beautiful place to own property. There are some non-HOA communities over there, as well as some condos that you can rent out with on-site management, and of course, gated communities. Okay, let's talk about work. Now the bigger companies are going to be located in Naples because Naples has a little bit of a bigger city affluent feel to it. There are some Amazon distribution centers in Naples. Of course, Arthrex is in Naples. The NCH campuses and Physicians Regional is located in Naples. And bigger banks and bigger companies are located in Naples. That's not to say that there aren't companies in Bonita Springs, but if you're living in Bonita, it is a bit of a small town feel with some big city amenities. You're likely going to be driving either south into Naples or north into Fort Myers to get to some of those bigger companies and some workspaces. If you're traveling south, you're gonna to wanna to leave a little bit earlier in the morning. Most people are traveling from Fort Myers, Estero, Bonita, down into Naples to get to work. So traffic on the southbound lanes on the 75 are a little more congested during those rush hour times. Cost of living, everybody is talking about cost of living with inflation and home prices going up. We are just gonna tell you that the cost of living is gonna be just a tad bit higher in Bonita Springs. I know that might be shocking to some people, but the tax rate's a little bit higher in Lee County, and we'll get into that. And you're gonna be traveling a little bit more. You're gonna be either traveling up to Fort Myers or down to Naples for many of the things that you wanna do. So you have to factor in gas and those taxes. So you can see that in Naples, the cost for food is a little bit higher. That may be because people go out to eat a little bit more when you're in Naples. Now, housing is very similar. The median home cost at the time that this survey was taken was $399 versus $397.5. Utilities are roughly the same. You can see that transportation line is a little bit different and a little bit higher in Bonita. You are gonna have a little more transportation costs while you're living in Bonita Springs. Healthcare is also a little bit higher. 
in Bonita Springs, and that's offset by the miscellaneous field, which is higher in Naples. I mentioned the tax rate before, so it is a little bit higher in Lee County, which is Bonita Springs. So you're gonna be paying a quarter of a percentage higher when you're living in Lee County versus Collier County. So let's talk about the feel or the vibe of the different areas. Naples is definitely a little bit bigger city, a little more affluent. It does still have that suburban sprawl going on. So a lot of what you see in the Naples area, um, the high rises close to the beaches, they do have a bit of a preserve buffer to them. And that was all done by design. Now, is Naples growing? Yes, it is. Are there more high rises coming in? Yes, there are, but that's the same for Bonita Springs as well. Now, if we go back to Naples and we start looking at that suburban sprawl, you're gonna see that there's a lot of new construction going on out east. So homes, communities, shopping centers are being built more out east now towards Oil Well Road, and we'll show you that on the map. Some new communities going in are Sky Sail, there's a Devosta community coming in, there's Orange Blossom Ranch, which is still under development, and those are all right next to the schools there. Now, if we compare that to Bonita Springs in Lee County, there are new high rises going up, but as I mentioned, Bonita Springs does have that smaller town feel to it. So when you go downtown in Bonita, you're gonna see that it's a cute downtown. It's a little bit smaller. It's a great place to ride your bike through some of the parks and visit the Wonder Gardens and go to the historic downtown homes down there compared to Naples, where when you go downtown, you're met with Fifth Avenue, Third Ave South. There's these big luxurious buildings. There's this architecture that's just absolutely stunning. It just is a big feel to a little bit of a smaller feel. So if you like that small town, really know your neighbor, be close with them kind of vibe, Bonita Springs might be better. Whereas in Naples, it's gonna be a little more transient, but there are neighborhoods that do have that same feel to it. One thing both cities do have in common though is they are both award winners. It's probably no surprise that Naples has a plethora of awards. In fact, Naples used to be like the best kept secret and now it's kind of out. There's people that are moving here from all over. So Naples has won awards like the number one healthiest and happiest city in the United States by Gallup Healthways Index in 2017, 2018, and 2019. It was the 11th happiest city in the United States by National Geographic Explorer in 2017. We also have a thing in Naples called the Blue Zone Project where you're gonna see a lot of restaurants and even communities are trying to offer this Blue Zone inspired menu with healthier choices and different bike paths and walkways in the communities. Naples won top 10 best adventure travel destination in the United States by the US Tourism Quality Index and Best Beach Town to Live In by Wallet Hub in 2017. Bonita Springs is an award winner as well, though they did win the top five best small towns to retire in. All in all, if you're looking for a bigger, grander, bigger land mass area space, Naples might be a good fit for you. There's gonna be more communities there. There's gonna be a little more to do there. Whereas Bonita Springs does have that small town, comfy, cozy feel to it. So both are great places and many people have lived in both places for years or have just moved to those places and found themselves to be very happy. Okay, maybe you've watched this video and you still have questions or you're focused on little pockets within Bonita Springs or Naples, Florida. Maybe you have a school question. If so, please feel free to reach out to us. We have all of the information you need in this video description. We'll see you next time.